Good evening, gentlemen. How are you tonight? Are you good? So tonight we're going to be looking at Even the Ocean. This is a very story-centric 2D platforming game. Uh, I would go as far as to call it a puzzle platformer uh, that came out on the PSN for nineteen ninety nine, I believe. All right. Now I will give you a quick precursor. The first part of the game, I actually cut out and put some of the story at 150 speed because if I didn't, the entire video would be beginning exposition. Uh, fair enough. I mean, I like what I'm seeing so far with just like the atmosphere and the sound. Well, it does go the like very story heavy. This is 150 speed. Um, and it's a very strong message on commentary to uh, society, um, resource depletion, uh, things like that. But to be honest, it's, it's a little... This one's a hard one for me because when I play a 2D platformer, hmm. I don't want that much story. Okay. But the main reason that I am, and this might be a bit of a spoiler for the final section, still playing through the game, which is supposed to be about an eight hour playthrough, is because I want to see what happens in the story and not the platforming. <laughs> Does that so, make sense? So, like, you don't really want necessarily a story with it, but at the same time, you got invested enough that you're like, now I need to know. Yeah, because if it wasn't for the story, the platforming is just okay. And I might not continue with it. Okay, fair enough. But because I'm invested in the story, I want to keep going. However, when I get to these long exposition parts, like you finish a 2D platforming level, which is kind of um, kind of puzzle-based. So, like, what happens in this game is you have a health bar that has both, like a like, a bluish color and a purplish color. And that represents two different types of energy. So you can stock this energy to use on opening gates, activating platforms, things like that. But if you go all the way into one color or the other is how you die. Gotcha. Right? And there'll be things like projectiles and say plants that will like explode if you make contact with them that are corresponding to these colors. Think like a... Kind of like an Ikaruga type thing, I was thing, right? just but, about to say, just like Ikaruga, okay. <laughs> but it's more about it's more about the balance, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, so, like, it's it's a decent platformer, but I don't know if I'd be playing it if it wasn't for the story. But every time I get to the story, I'm just like, oh, just move on with it. And yet, it's what's <laughs> keeping me playing the game. Interesting. All right. Well, I mean, I think the aesthetic is really cool, at least. Uh, I mean, again, I don't know much about the story other than what you've told me. That could be interesting. I mean, it certainly plays into what's going on in the world now, so... Well, I don't want to play... I don't want to say too, too much about the story, obviously, for spoiler reasons. But yeah. you're like an engineer that repairs these power plants that feed the two kinds of energy into, like, the major met metropolis, gotcha. right? Okay. So the whole thing is about you going to the power plants to restore the power. There is a little bit of kind of kind of seediness with like the mayor of the town. There's clearly some forces. I if full um, for full clarity, I haven't beaten the game yet. Yeah. Um, but there's definitely some intrigue there. So I, that's all I can really say about the story. But now we're at the gameplay part, so you guys can talk a little bit more about what you see. I will say, though, odd choice. I can't change the controls. And for some reason, jump is on the circle, which is the oh, only I negative that. I have. Yeah. Only negative I have with the controls, though, because everything else controls-wise works great. Okay. Okay, so finally getting into some actual gameplay. Oh, yeah, and I cut out a lot of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, definitely slow to get into that. In fact, there's actually tutorial pop-ups all over this part that I'm playing right now that I edited out of the video. Yeah, <laughs> definitely very tutorial heavy. It took me um, about 45 minutes to an hour to get past like all of the intro tutorials, the exposition when you beat the first level and kind of set up like the story and the town and your objectives 
And then after that, it was a little bit more um, better paced with the levels. Yeah, okay. um, that, that does seem like a lot, though. Like, that seems fine for an 80-hour RPG. That seems like a lot for an 8-hour game. <laughs> yeah, and honestly, like, doing this video, I think, is what kept me getting past that first bit of entry, like, barrier. Yeah. But now that I'm past that, I do just want to keep playing. Although, again, I've I've already gone over it twice, I think, on why I'm, I'm unsure yeah, of yeah. it. But. Um, now, I, I'm noticing, like, jumping around and avoiding things or going through beams and stuff like that. Um, is, there, is there an actual combat mechanic to the game? If there is, I haven't gotten to it yet. Okay. And uh, so it's be more forgiven. of almost, like, puzzle-based, then. Yeah. And, and, like, there's different kinds of puzzles. Like, the different power plants are on different regions of the map. So, like, the first one I went to was, like, a beach resort. There was a lot of water-based puzzles with, like, streaming jets that would shoot you up and things like that. Um, some parts where you could dive underwater because uh, you would sometimes have to carry, like, energy orbs to, say, station to open a gate. So it's very puzzle platforming. And, and it's not bad, but I think the combination is just really weird on what's throwing me off between the balance. Yeah, yeah. Uh, are any of the puzzles actually, like, interesting? Eh, they're not bad. It, 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 it seems very basic, at least at the moment, almost more like it's less a puzzle and just going through... <laughs> Yeah, and, like, this is the first level before, yeah. like, you really get everything, so it's pretty basic. There is a lot more complexity later on with, um, like, maybe not even, like, necessarily complex puzzles, but more of a challenge on getting through them without, like, getting too much of one type of yeah, energy. I'm or noticing, another. like, balancing the two energy types by getting hit purposely in some cases, right? Like, yes, like right there, you could see I purposely went through two purple bulbs because I wanted to get back to kind of like a middle balance. Exactly. So I, I got to give him credit for that. Like, it's a it's a unique premise. At definitely, least. definitely unique. I mean, this is different than a lot of other uh, games that I've seen for sure. It, it seems like the controls are pretty good, other than the fact that you were telling me that that whole jumping thing um, is just... Once, once you get used to using the circle button, which, again, is just an initial annoyance, it doesn't carry on after that. Yeah. It's just an initial annoyance. Like, see here, I realized after dying, I'm going to go through a heavy blue section, so I'm going to fill up on purple. Yeah. And yeah. then it's not going to matter so much if I go up this way. So kind of that's where you're utilizing the mechanic. And that's the puzzle aspect, yeah, like making those choices. Well, and, and there's different things like this here. I'm going to pick up this power rod, which I have to bring literally right to the thing next to it there. But later on, you get more complex ones because if that orb touches any blue or purple power on your way it destroys the orb so not only are you getting like balancing this power you have to kind of avoid it with this as well okay That's all right cool. so last minute uh do you continue after your first impression i would i wouldn't uh my I, I reason don't. for it is just um it's intriguing enough that i would want to kind of see where it goes and uh, Alex? I haven't seen anything really that interesting in it so far. It, it the, the puzzling aspect doesn't seem like anything that would keep me um, playing the game for sure. Uh, I, I guess the one thing that might change my mind would be the story, but it's hard to know without playing a decent chunk of the game. And then for me real quick, I am continuing, so obviously my answer is yes. The big reason is because the story has gripped me, although I would caution this is only a play if you are prepared to play a platformer that is very, very story heavy. All right, until next time, we'll see you. Hey, did you like that video? If you did, be sure to let us know by clicking the like button and leaving a comment. If you want to be first in line for any new content, be sure to subscribe to our channel and then hit up our Facebook page, the link's in the description below, to see what's coming up next.